it's Marnie Peterson here from the Getting You Home team at Royal Page Signature. Uh, this week we are going to kind of reflect a little bit. So the first week of real estate reality, I guess, is I have put myself in the shoes of a seller, literally. After 25 years of being in this beautiful family home of ours, we have found what I consider my dream home. Um, I call unicorn homes for my buyers, that house that pretty much has 90% plus of everything you're looking for in a home. And uh, I found it, so we bought it. And now my home is up for sale. Things I've learned. First thing I've learned, my sellers are amazing. My, you seller clients that I've had, oh my gosh, I know I push you. Uh, and the end results always are worth it in the end with the, the money that we want for your homes. But I have put seller hat on and given up realtor hat for this particular transaction and I'm following all of my own advice. So what does that mean? Uh, things I ask my sellers to do. Paint, we've done. I don't ask my sellers to remove popcorn ceilings, but we only had three left, so we took care of that and got rid of the popcorn ceilings. Uh, we put new carpet in where it needed new carpet. If you've got older carpet, I wouldn't waste my time for the most part putting in um, hardwood surfaces, but I would replace it with a new carpet. Uh, somebody walking into your home, they may not particularly be fond of carpet, but they'll see it and go, oh, we can live with it, as opposed to, oh, we have to replace this grungy carpet. So put in new carpet. In the basement, we actually did put hard surface down. We put the vinyl plank flooring because it's probably my newest favorite thing. It is so durable, it's waterproof, it's amazing, it adds incredible value, and it looks friggin' fantastic. What else have we done? Decluttering, oh my goodness. Four kids, 24 years in a house, almost. Um, that's a lot of stuff to get rid of. So we did 13 trips to Goodwill. We did a few trips to the dump because the furniture we had was pretty much kid friendly and we weren't too fussy about it over the years. Um, and other things we've put into storage until the house sells and until we move into our new home. It's declutter and get rid of everything extraneous in the space. If you're still going to be living in your home, I do recommend, you know, you leave your essentials, but pack up all your non-essentials and get them up. And if you can even put them in the garage. Next thing we did, staging. This is this is my furniture because I supply it to my clients for staging, but it's actually not the furniture native to my house, except for that stuff in the backyard, which is actually our furniture that we used for living here. Um, staging, staging, staging. Oh my goodness, the importance of staging. My kids, my neighbors, they're all walking into my house going, going oh my God, it's not even the same house, and it's not. The whole point of staging is to depersonalize it and have the buyer see themselves living in this home that you've either loved or lived in for many years. So taking out all your personal items, photos, uh, mementos, all that kind of thing, super important. Uh, keeping the house clean, again, super, super important. We've actually moved out of the house temporarily while we have it for sale. I don't wanna be bothered having to clean up coffee cups in the morning, worrying about the dishwasher, making sure the bed is tidy. I mean, we make the bed every day, but let's make sure it's like perfect um, and all that kind of stuff. So we've actually taken a, a temporary, temporary home while we sell this house and it just makes life much easier and we can accommodate showings easier and all that kind of thing. We have completely cleaned the house top to bottom. Windows have been cleaned. Uh, carpets, if they were new, have been cleaned all that kind of thing. So cabinets, windows, um, baseboards, get all those dust bunnies out of the house. And last but not least, you know what? You cannot ignore the exterior of your home. We did a few things to improve the curb appeal of our home. We actually painted the front door and entranceway. We painted the garage door and we've got some new flowers to put in. It was the end of summer and the, you know, the, the summer stuff was sort of dying off anyway. So we put all new beautiful flowers in, in the gardens and all along the front walkway to really give the house a beautiful curb appeal. Click on the link below, you can see the after video of how our home looks and all of the 
items we did to improve it and, and make it look just shiny and pretty for the next homeowner. 